Hi, welcome. I'm Gary Geisler, one of your technical solutions architects for Cisco Plus Secure Connect. We're going to do a video a little bit different today. Today, I'm actually going to show you how easy it is to deploy Secure Connect, and I do that using a speed run. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and deploy a site, identify an application, set policy for that application, and I'm going to do it all on the clock. The only thing that's existing as far as configuration here is I'm integrated with my identity provider. Everything else we're going to do from scratch. So we'll start here on our overview page. And right now I want to start the clock. I'm going to go to my sites page here and I'm going to deploy a new site into one of my existing cloud hubs. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to connect my Meraki networks. I'm going to choose my incubation. MX68, I'm going to choose my East Cloud Hub. I'm going to choose New York as my primary. Ashburn automatically becomes my secondary. I'm going to add that site into Secure Connect so that it can be a participant in our SASE fabric. Now we've added that site in, but wait, I haven't added any local networks participating because I'm managing my networking gear and my security gear together in our unified SASE solution, I can click right into here. I'm going to go ahead and enable this private network to participate into our Secure Connect solution. So now I'm advertising that private network in. I'm going to go back to Secure Connect and I'm going to identify my private application. So I'm going to create a new application. I'm going to call it the Fire Power 1010 Management application. I'm going to enable this for our browser-based access. I'm going to identify the IP address for this, and then I'm going to come down here and hit save. I'll let that save propagate throughout our environment. Here I can actually click on here, and I can see I now have an external URL for that application. That usually takes a minute or two to become active, so I'm just going to copy it for right now. Let's go set our policy, and then we'll access that application when we're ready. So we're going to go to the browser access here. This is our access policy for the browser-based access. Note the default rule at the bottom, deny all users and groups access to all applications and groups. We're going to add our new rule here. We're going to name our new rule. We're going to name it the firepower rule. We're going to give it an allow action. I'm going to choose a user and group. Again, this is my identity provider that's already pre-configured. I'm going to choose the application that I want to have access to. I have my Firepower 1010 management application. We just created that. And one other thing I did pre-configure is our endpoint posture profile, the actual components that are needed to fit our posture profile. So a little cheat there maybe. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save there. So now I've connected a site where the application lives. I've identified the application itself. And then I've identified policy for that application. Let's give access a shot here. This is all live. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to enter an incognito window. I'm going to take that URL for that application that I previously copied. I'm going to type that in here. I'm going to get, oh, I've got my prompt. It's going to ask me for a login. So I'm going to use my username and my password to access this. And what I should see is access to the web interface for my firewall. So in this time frame that we've just done, I've deployed a site, added an application, set policy, and access that application. Just that easy. It's really, really amazing when you have a unified solution with all the things under one place to manage, you can really operationalize yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it.